Hello everyone, welcome to InfoSec Daily. Today I'll be talking about this tool by Project Discovery called Nuclei. In this video, I'll also be using some other tools too alongside Nuclei. However, our primary focus will be on Nuclei for this video. Also, I have prepared a bonus section at the end where I'll show you guys how you can take advantage of Nuclei and prepare scripts to suit your needs uh, using which you can take your automation game to the next level. So what exactly is Nuclei? Nuclei is one of the tools by Project Discovery. It is a very powerful tool that helps automate vulnerability scanning, reconnaissance, penetration testing, etc. with ease. It scans stuff based on the template we provide. Project Discovery also has a dedicated repository that houses various types of vulnerability templates, uh, which has been contributed by over 100 security researchers and engineers. Installing Nuclei is very easy. You can easily install Nuclei on your computer or a VPS if you wish to. So you'll need to visit this link. Uh, it's called nuclei.projectdiscovery.io slash nuclei slash get started. Here you'll find different ways to install Nuclei on your system. You can install it using Grow, Brew, Docker, GitHub, or you can get the binary for your operating system using this URL here. Uh, I installed it using Go. Uh, let's try to install it. So here I'll open my terminal. Let me zoom it in for you. Okay, so here it says Go found because I have already installed it. Now what you'll need to do is uh, you have to move the binary to USR slash local slash bin. So my binary is in um, go slash bin slash nuclei. So you'll have to uh, move it to USR slash local slash bin. Okay, so you'll need to use sudo here. Uh, supply your sudo password. Okay, so now that you have done that, uh, nuclei should be installed on your system. Uh, let's confirm it's, if it's installed. Yes, so it's installed and working. Now that we have Nuclei installed on our system, let's explore some ways to use it to its full potential. So Nuclei gives you the ability to write your own custom templates in order to automate your workflow. Here in this URL, nuclei.projectdiscovery.io slash templating guide, you'll find information on how you can build one for yourself. The link to this will be provided in the description below. So let's try building one for ourselves. Uh, so for the purpose of this video, I had already built one. Let me navigate to desktop. So it's called wordpress.yaml. So uh, what this template basically does is it, it will visit all the URLs provided in the list slash license.txt and it will check if the body contains the word WordPress. So that should um, tell us if the website is a WordPress site or not. So let's check it. So let me quickly create a list uh, test.txt. Let me supply in some URL. Let's say google.com, facebook.com. So I have five URLs in my list. Uh, let's using Nuclei. Let's test if uh, any of this website is a WordPress site. So to do that, what we can do is Nuclei dash T. Here will provide our template location. So my template is in users slash babavcha slash desktop slash WordPress dot yml, and then we'll need to supply our list. So my list is in test.txt, which is in the same directory. So let's check if it can find it. Okay, so it found that cookedinfo.com is using WordPress. Um, so by creating templates like this, as per your needs, you can easily automate your workflow. Project Discovery also has a dedicated repository that houses various types of vulnerability templates contributed by over a hundred security researchers and engineers. 
In order to get the latest templates built by the community, what you can do is you can simply supply this command nuclei hyphen update hyphen templates. For me, it says nuclei templates are up to date uh, because I have already downloaded the latest templates. However, for you, this will download all the latest templates on your machine. Now that we have tons of nuclei templates installed in our system, let's learn how we can use them. Okay, so let's try scanning for subdomain takeovers from the uh, list of URLs. We'll use the <coughs> templates provided by community. So in order to do that, first we need a list. So let us create a list. Uh, nano list.txt so let's say the list contains babupchar.com um, test.babupchar.com uh, github take over.babupchar.com so this github take over.babupchar.com i have intentionally made it vulnerable so let's see if nuclei can find it nuclei dash t will we are looking for takeovers templates <coughs> and then we'll provide our list so the list is called list.txt so let's try scanning for it okay so it has detected a subdomain takeover by github here at github takeover.bavajha.com so let us confirm it so dig c name let's see where it is pointing so it's pointing to bavavjha.github.io so let's see if bavavjha username is available on github okay so it is not available so anyone can take that username and take over the subdomain I built this very basic script to help automate your penetration testing or reconnaissance for you to have an idea about how you can make use of Nuclei to its full potential. Alright, so this is the script that I was talking about earlier. It's called Demo Nuclei Automation Script by InfoSec Daily. So what the script uh, basically does is it will first update the Nuclei templates for you and then it will ask you to enter the domain names that you want to scan. So let's say, um, okay, so let's start the script. Okay, so it has updated the Nuclei templates to the latest version and then it is asking me to enter the domain names that I want to scan. So let's say I want to scan google.com and facebook.com. So I entered two domain names here. Now for the number of domain names that we enter, which in this case is two, the loop will run that many times. So as soon as I hit enter, First, it will notify me via Telegram using a tool by Project Discovery called Notify that the scan has started for $i, which in this case will be Google.com. So it will notify me that the scan has started for Google.com. And then it will create a folder called Google.com. And uh, let's hit enter. Okay, so I got notified via Telegram that the scan has started for Google.com. And now what it will do is, uh, uh, it will scan for subdomains of google.com and then using httpx it will scan uh, output the valid subdomains to um, google.com slash subdomains.txt uh, okay and then it will notify me that subdomains has been saved um, using telegram uh, and then it will scan for cvs and then default logins and then exposures misconfiguration takeovers vulnerabilities etc you can also um, add your custom scripts here and uh, and as soon as the scan finishes it will uh, notify me via telegram again that the scan has finished for dollar i and then the loop will start for another domain which in this case was facebook.com and all the vulnerabilities that it finds uh, it will keep notifying me via telegram uh, that this vulnerability has been found okay so the message that i want to give here is by making scripts like uh, the one i made here you can easily take your penetration testing slash reconnaissance automation to next level 
So that's all for this video. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Or we also have a subreddit where you can ask questions. The link to that will also be in the description below. If you like this video and would like to see more such videos, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you.